Good day, guys. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And I am coming at you with my total master bedroom makeover. I've been working on this for a month. That's why I've been absent. And I'm excited to share the whole bedroom with you guys. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Tammy. And I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and subscribe and stay a little while longer and join my YouTube family. And if you enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a big old thumbs up. All right, guys, I'm so excited to show you. So let me get behind the camera and show you what I've done. Hey, kitty. You're so pretty. Kitty. Hey, baby. This is Hello Kitty. Before we go into my bedroom, I want to show you what my husband made me. I am into this kind of industrial, modern, you name it. I like to mix my styles. But this, let me see if I can get over here. All right. It's the, see the little pipes? And I'm gonna hang my blankets on it. Okay, this, let me scoot back. Okay, this particular piece um, of wood was a busted up entertainment center that was at our Pier 1 um, in the dump. My husband's seen it. And I'll show you the other piece in just a moment that he found. And he took it. I mean, it was in the dump, whatever. And this is what we made out of it. And the, um, these things, we got at Lowe's. And that's that. I'm going to hang my blankets on it. Isn't that cool? So it is a DIY from my husband. All right, let's walk into the room. Another thing is my husband just made these. For Ruby, she hurt her leg from jumping up on our bed. So I'm going to chalk paint them white. This was made from a broken up cabinet he found off the side of the road. And he kind of, I don't know how they look right. He kind of put them together and that's Ruby's stairs. But they're right here because I want to show you my room. Alright guys, here is my room. Okay, as you walk in... I'll give you a little overview first and then I'll tell you all about it. Hello, Jess. Jess, you want to say hey to everybody? Yeah, Jess. Okay, he's not he. Um, maybe a she. I'll tell you about that in another video. Okay, and then it's finally these sheer curtains. Sorry, that's a piece of my lighting I use for videoing. And this over here is our Miss Sugar in this white box. Um, when we lose an animal, we have them cremated, and this is her ashes. My desk. And this picture is crooked because I put it up myself. My husband's going to fix it. And yes, my fan's down there. And so is my clock because it didn't look pretty. So I wanted to show you guys. Okay, my favorite, favorite thing, guys. Let me get back here so I can get the full view.
All right. So let me go to the bed. Okay. And we'll start with this blanket that's covering up. I'll show you. This is a heated up um, throw from, it was on clearance from Target. And I just like the pattern. And so I'll put it on that. Underneath there is where cats and dogs go. If you're an animal lover or animal owners, you understand. Okay, next we're going to move up to the bedding. The bedding, now again, um, before I finish out, um, if you're new to the channel um, or if you're a fellow um, follower of mine, thank you. And I'm going to link above somewhere uh, above the video here uh, one of my videos where it shows my complete before master. So I will link that so you can see the total before. Okay, on back to the bedding. The bedding is from Pottery Barn, uh, one of my favorite. I buy my bedding. I've been buying my bedding from Pottery Barn for years. It lasts forever. You'll get tired of it before it ever wears out. So, uh, my cute little fluffy pillow is from Ross. Okay, and then our headboard. I want to get a close-up of that. Okay, all this, the headboard is put on with command strips. And I'm going to put a clip in on how my husband did this for me. Um, it's really, really easy. And like I said, I'll put a clip in so you can see how easy it was. Um, none of this is nailed on. So if you're like me, you get tired of things, you can take it down and it won't damage your wall. Excuse my, I got my sheets in the wash. But we got this at, it's a kit and it's a mixed, comes with these command strips. And it's a uh, mixed kit that you can create something with. And so we are going to attempt, hang on. These are the colors. Um, that come in the kit. These three. Reformed or Reclaimed White, River Gray, Sierra Brown, Whitewash Pine. So I believe it's just um sorry about the glare. One, two, three, three. So, this is what we're going to attempt, but I want it a lot taller than that. And hopefully, he didn't fall and bust a gut. Okay. So, you're putting three of these command strips, right? Yeah. See that? Two and three. And this really. Um, tell them what kind of saw you're using. I'm just using a miter saw. Okay, but if they had a handheld saw, I mean, what if they didn't have a miter saw? You could use a razor knife and score it and break it. This is just, uh, it's like a plastic material. It's like, uh, it's kind of like the board you would see at a... Like MDF? No, it's like the board you'd see at a science fair type thing. It's a real hard plastic. Oh. So, it's, it so you could probably score it on each side and break it in half yeah, if they didn't have a miter saw, is use, what I'm saying. If they had a square, they could put a square on it like this and just score it with a, a razor knife and then break it. Okay. So another option if you don't have a miter saw. And then we'll just... It's already got the first one lined up easy we're going by the eight foot across right yeah just give it a pop as you can see i'm working real hard he said i'm the producer yeah i'm showing i'm showing you guys <laughs> 
Um, and this, let me zoom in a little bit. Our wedding picture, and then that frame I got from Kirkland's, if you see my last haul. This barn door looking thing came off of that busted up entertainment center and my like i said my husband found it in the pier one dumpster sticking out so he grabbed it and this is how he used it and then the mirror was up there before and it was from a yard sale for five dollars and we got this chair which was uh, another Pier 1 dumpster find. It's just got some dents in it, but let me get a little closer. There's nothing wrong with it. And this right here. This is actually, this pillow is actually a Christmas pillow that I just turned back. And the picture is from the living room that I just switched to the bedroom. My sheer curtains, I'm trying not to blind you, are from Home Goods, as well as the curtain rod. Let me put that down. I know that's bright. The white chair is a roadside find, so it was a freebie. The desk was a busted up roadside find that was yellow, and my husband put it back together. No, the drawers don't work on it, um, but he kind of... Um, glued not glued but nailed or something the fronts and then i painted it and then the handles were already on it and so that was a freebie um we'll start with the dresser let me get a little closer um the vase was from a recent haul for ten dollars the flowers in there are from walmart for a couple dollars the candle isn't that pretty? Let me see. The candle is from uh, Ross. So, okay. And then the tray is from Goodwill, from my thrifted haul that I shared with you guys a while back. So, um, this dresser was an espresso dark color. Um, and this dresser was actually a hand-me-down from my parents. They took um, a bedroom and turned it into a playroom for their grandkids. And she gave me this piece and then the nightstand I'll show you a minute ago. And like I said, it was a dark espresso color. The top was all messed up from wear and tear. And I painted it, used the same knobs, and I painted it using this paint. And it's in a light, light gray color i don't have the exact name well maybe i do hold on let's see does it say there we go moonstone ring okay and it's a chalk paint you don't have to prime it you do it um honestly uh, i still have a lot left but this was very expensive it was thirty dollars I did finish the whole dresser and the nightstand with it, and I still have a lot left. But um, to be very honest with you, I really didn't like it. I like the uh, paint that I'm about to show you in a minute that I used on my vanity. Um, but overall, it did a great job. And I put, there were, like I said, there was no sanding, which is wonderful about any type of chalk paint. And I put three coats, and this is the color. And um, I coated it after that. Let me see. I'm trying to zoom out. I coated it with a varnish, matte finish, um, by the Waverly Company. This is actually my favorite paint, chalk paint. It's from Walmart. And you can get it. It's great. Um, I tend to water it down a little bit. It goes a long way. And I just like it. It's very easy to work with. I mean, it's very, I just love it. Um, but I use the matte finish um, to put the top coat on of this. So there's that. And here's my nightstand. The lamps already had, um, they're from Home Goods. And you guys hear that? I love that crackle 
thing, that crackle um, candle. That was from Ross. I think it's a Yankee candle. This bouquet was just from my bathroom that I just pulled it in and put it in the bedroom. And like I say, this is some durable paint. I did do it um, three coats on this one. Um, no prime in it whatsoever. And then I did a top coat with the Waverly Matte Varnish. So we'll go on to my vanity. We change that up. And let me show you here. Oh, it's not very good lighting. Let me see if I can get down. Get a little bit. I'm sorry if it's not good lighting. I thought the daylight would be better. But anyway, I painted it um, this gray color. And then I painted the chair the same gray color. Again, it is it is this paint right here. The Waverly. And this color is called Silver Lighting. And if you watched the before video, this was a coral color. This vanity was a roadside find that was busted up. And my husband, you know, put it back together for me. And we have been using it. My daughter and I share it. And then this um, mirror was a roadside find as well. And it's always been that color. I left it. So anyway, back to the vanity. It used to be coral. And now it's the that color silver lining in the chair. But this contact paper, let me see. There we go. All right, look, guys. It's a laminate contact paper I got from Walmart, and it's by the duct tape brand. And I put it on top. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And it's so easy to clean. And... There we go. And here's the chair. Okay, and then uh let's see this. This table was a roadside find as well. And um it was actually I it was like a honey oak color that I painted white. And oh my tummy's growling. I painted, <laughs> I hope you can't hear that. Anyway, um, that I painted white and I went ahead and painted it with that Valspar color to match the other two pieces. And then I did the um, knobs with the silver lining gray. And down there, which I didn't put up, is his CPAP machine. And it is a miracle worker. He does not snore anymore. Thank you, Lord. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I hope you liked my room makeover and let me know what is your favorite piece in the room in the comments down below. And until next time, bye!